Hello, I hope everyone is doing well. My name is Ryan Sharp, and this is my final presentation for the History of Photography course. Um, definitely learned a lot this semester uh, about photography and uh, kind of its origins and uh, how it's kind of progressed to where it is today as an industry. Um, so for my presentation, I am uh, choosing to present over uh, Martin Scholler. He's a uh, modern uh, photographer, uh, very well regarded. Um, and his strategy and his techniques are uh, certainly very unique uh, in their perspective and kind of the idea he has behind them uh, as he uh, takes several different series uh, of fo photos uh, as he goes on. So, um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so Martin Scholler, uh, this is him pictured here. He was born in 1968 in Munich, Germany. Um, he uh, was kind of grew up in Germany for a while and uh, studied photography in Germany. Uh, before coming to New York City, uh, where he was an apprentice of another famous photographer, uh, before he kind of branched off and started his own work uh, with uh, portraits. Uh, his big thing is portraits. portraits. Uh, if you go on his website, you can see all sorts of various portraits that he takes uh, in the kind of center focus of those portraits is they're very close up very detailed, uh, very, uh, very, uh, I think the best word to put it is humbling. It's very, uh, it, it, it's kind of, it kind of serves as like a reality check is kind of how the photos work. Um, you really kind of look at them and go, um, you know, you kind of go, oh, well, uh, this kind of puts a new perspective on something uh, that you hadn't thought about before in a You'll kind of see what I mean when we uh, move on to the next slide here. Uh, but that's that's his primary fame. It came from uh, those close-up portraits of various different people, uh, all the way from United States presidents to uh, celebrities to average, ordinary, everyday people. It, he has no um, kind of... Uh, I guess you could say levels. Uh, he treats every one of his, uh, I guess, subjects as uh, their own. Uh, treats them with the same fairness as everybody else. There's no favoritism for celebrities or anyone like that, which is kind of going to go part of his movement, which we'll talk about next. Um, so... Uh, this photo here, you can see, is kind of a great example of one of the photos he's, he's taken. This one is of uh, the famous actor Robert De Niro. Um, so you can see the picture is very close up. Um, it's very um, detailed. Uh, you can definitely see with the lighting. Uh, there's definitely uh, very bright lighting uh, shown into the subject's face, so the photo. Um, and it kind of reveals all the features of their face, uh, their facial expression, uh, possibly the emotions uh, of the person being pictured. Um, in a sense, it can kind of seem a little bit, I, I suppose, creepy too. It's, it's kind of like the person is gazing right into the camera and you're kind of staring into their soul a little bit. <laughs> um, but it's, it's definitely a unique perspective on how to take uh, portraits they're very um, very detailed uh, and it changes the way you see these people like uh, for example with Robert De Niro you see him in a lot of movies uh, you see him in the public but you really don't see this actor in a perspective like this uh, this is a very humbling a very human perspective um, from this standpoint of this photo and you kind of learn uh, more about him in a way uh, from this photograph and it also kind of places him 
kind of in the same spectrum as other people because uh, Scholar, of course, takes photos of just average people as well. Um, so it, it, it creates kind of an e a sense of equality. Um, another thing he's used this uh, close-up technique for is um, for kind of bringing attention to world issues. Um, and the way he does that is he can take photos of people from all over the world. Uh, if you go on his website right now, there's photos of people from various different countries in the world. Uh, and it gives the viewer of the photos kind of a inside look on how uh, the culture is for those countries or what life might be like for people in different countries or in different areas of the world. Uh, so it, he's able to kind of bring into light those world issues and uh, kind of introduce people to new cultures and new people and kind of broaden our understanding on uh, the rest of the world uh, merely through pictures that are portraits of people. It's it's a very it's a very amazing concept uh, when you think about it. It's able to tell a story just through a portrait. It's pretty cool. So that's kind of the movement uh, that kind of goes along with what Scholler does. Um, it's this humbling equality kind of uh, and bringing attention and introducing to new cultures, new people, and uh, that kind of uh, that kind of stuff. So um, that's the movement. Let's move on to the aspects of his photography. So let me talk just a little bit more about uh, the different aspects of his pictures. Um, so you can see in this picture here, just like the last picture, it's a very close up of a person's face. Um, a lot of detail. Um, and this uh, this photo I have copied here, of course, it it definitely uh, looks a little bit um, pixelated. Uh, that's only because it's been blown up. Um, but uh, in a regular sense, um, these photos are very clear. They're very detailed. You can see just about every aspect. It's it's all it's 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 basically like you're sitting in the same room as the person. Uh, being pictured uh, and you're learning a lot about the people being pictured whether no matter who it is whether it's uh, an actor or celebrity presidents political figures uh, or just uh, average people um, so extreme close-ups of the face uh, there's a lot of detail uh, lighting's a big thing with Scholler's photographs and um, as well as um, kind of the focus on the facial expression uh, of the person in the picture. Um, kind of these photos remind me a lot, I would say, of kind of like the Mona Lisa. It, it, it's, you look at them and you're I think the viewer tries to discern what the emotion of the person being pictured is. Um, I think in this picture, for example, this person seems to display uh, confidence. Um, and I think that's kind of the same kind of concept. People always want to try and guess what emotion uh, the Mona Lisa has, whether it's a smile or... Uh, confidence and this is kind of a similar uh, aspect with these photographs so that's kind of the aspects of his photos and the movement um, let's go ahead and answer a few questions uh, we've got another picture here of actor Jack Nicholson so what captured my attention about this uh, author uh, and I learned about him through one of our uh, discussion posts, and um, I kind of looked into him a little bit more, and that's kind of why I decided to present on him for the final project. Um, this concept of these close-up photos, it's, it's not something really any other photographer has done, at least in this way. 
it's very detailed it's very humbling is the word i keep going back to um i, th I think if he if you had Scholler take a photograph of yourself and you saw it, it would be a very humbling photograph. It would You would learn more, a lot about yourself. It's kind of like looking in the mirror. Um, it's like that reality check uh, kind of emotion that would come about, I think. Uh, so that's kind of what captured my attention about it is it's the way he's able to explain a lot uh, about... Uh, culture about the world about people just through pictures it, Scholler's technique really kind of puts the phrase a picture can speak a thousand words into perspective these these photos to me are a textbook example of that uh, old phrase um, and that's kind of the most interesting aspect as well um, kind of this ability to tell so much just from a portrait. Um, really what I learned about this as well that surprised me uh, was uh, his coming over to New York from Germany. Uh, definitely um, a very interesting uh, choice and especially with culture being high in New York it's really a great venue for him to take these pictures uh, because New York is a great place for uh, all sorts of different people to uh, kind of congregate. And uh, New York is, there's a lot of different people with a lot of different stories uh, and a lot of different walks of life uh, that you can kind of grasp from these pictures. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the three main questions there. Uh, now we'll go ahead and get into the uh, five photographs I took with the inspiration of uh, Scholler's technique. So the first photo is of myself. So this is kind of a self-portrait. Um, so I can't really, of course, with my iPhone accomplish the same uh, kind of close-up technique. Uh, but it got pretty detailed, I would say. Um, and this is kind of what I'm going back to what I was talking about before. This is kind of that real reality check. It's like looking in the mirror even as I'm looking at it now. Uh, so kind of that reality check kind of idea that goes along with this. Um, next picture. Uh, this is my nephew. Uh, and uh, he smiled real big for the camera. <laughs> and uh, But also a great photo. Uh, next one is my niece. Um, she also smiled great for the camera um, and these photos I tried my best to kind of match the perspective uh, obviously my photos don't have the lighting or the other aspects uh, that make his images crisp but they kind of try and follow that same kind of line of uh, this human aspect of it um, now, going against that grain, <laughs> um, the final two pictures I decided to take uh, of our two dogs. Uh, this is my dog, Cruiser. Um, he's quite an old dog. Uh, but uh, he, uh, he posed for the, uh, for the portrait shot there, and he did pretty good. And finally, uh, this is Toby. Uh, he also did a really good job. Uh, of course... The problem with this photo, I guess, is it's not a direct on of his face, but I think this one kind of captures more detail of him uh, with a look inside of his. Plus, trying to keep him looking the correct direction with a dog treat, <laughs> you know, so. All right, and without further ado, there's the uh, work cited. I pretty much used uh, Scholler's website to gain the material for this presentation, and I highly encourage you to check it out there's some great content on there uh, and you can learn a whole lot more about him uh, as a photographer uh, as well so i appreciate you watching uh, thank you so much um, it's been a great uh, five weeks and i've definitely learned a lot about photography and i think i've kind of grown in this uh, kind of aspect that i've wanted to learn a lot more about so Thank you so much. Have a great day.